Hey guys, it's Heather here and happy Friday. I really wanted to get some more videos out for you guys this week besides just the Halloween update one, but I've had a bit of a cold and so that set me back. Hopefully I don't sound too power bangy anymore. Hopefully this is okay, but I wanna make sure that I got a, your Friday video to you guys. So have to get this done. Um, I'm gonna really try and stick to a Friday for sure schedule. Getting you guys a video about two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put myself on a schedule and you, you guys deserve it. You've been super supportive of me and I want to give back and make sure that you guys are getting at least one video a week, but hopefully I'm going to be doing a lot more. I just want to make sure that I'm definitely committed to giving you your Friday video. So even though I've had a bit of a setback this week, the one video that I have to do is showcase the friendly war that we had with you guys in Cobalt Cobras and Onyx Orcas last Sunday night. And it was awesome. It came down to a tie 82-82. The Cobras won by a little over 1%. It was crazy. It was so much fun. It was just great to be able to war with you guys and hang out with you, even though it was like mad chaos. And the whole time I was pretty much just donating. And then when I did my attacks, I just did all bowlers because I had like 60 or so bowlers all made for donating. But it was so much fun. It's going to be the highlight of the week for me. And it's a way that I can be able to give back to you guys and hang out with you guys and really actually play with you. So this is really cool. I've got members from my clans on board starting this week who are going to be helping with this because it got pretty crazy to try and manage all that and keep things fair. So we're going to have people helping out. And then I think what I'm going to do is make the two clans, the Onyx Orcas and the Black Badgers, because those are um, clans that we have for arranged wars and Black Badgers is a level nine clan. So that will help just have a little bit better perks. Plus it's gonna be black on black, so I think that would be pretty cool. So what you guys need to do is follow me on Twitter, Clash Tutor on Twitter, and then I will be tweeting out uh, when the clans are opening up. I'll also be tweeting out the names of the clans and their clan tags so you can bookmark those and be able to join right away. Like I said, we're gonna open up the clans at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday night. And then we will close the clans as soon as they are full. We'll get a friendly war going with a one hour prep, a one hour war, and then I'll be able to get some really great footage to be able to showcase during the week. So hey, win-win for all of us, right? So check the description of this video right now and bookmark the two clans, the Onyx Orcas and the Black Badgers, because those are gonna be the two clans that you can join. And then also be sure to follow me on Twitter because that's when you're going to get the reminder, hey, it's Sunday night, friendly war time. And then also remember you can't be in another clan war or friendly war to be able to join. You can only be in one of those at a time. I know, big bummer. So I'm trying to set this at a time that I'm hoping most people are done with their weekend war and it will be a good time for them to join for a quick friendly war. But if, you know, let me know how this goes for you. Maybe I'll have to change the time from month to month to try and be able to make it easier for you guys to be able to participate in it. So the first attack you saw while I was rambling on there was Drizzy Drake versus Free Indeed with a Gobo Lalo, I think we'll call it, really beefy kill squad, really cool ground air hybrid that I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more of, not just a Town Hall 9, but a Town Hall 10 and 11 as well. And now the attack we're watching right now is La Problematica versus Kevinci. I'm gonna have a horrible time with these names. I'm probably just gonna say, the number 12 from Cobalt Cobras versus the number nine from Onyx Orcas. And this is really cool. This is really close to the first attack that we watched with the ground kill squad moving into the La Loon, except for this is much lower heroes doing the same thing against, you know, a pretty maxed out base. So not too bad. You see, he uses that kill squad. It goes through the entire center of the base. The queen is still up. He's able to take care of a huge amount of the base, be able to get down multiple air defenses, plus the enemy archer queen. And then he sends in the hounds and the loons from the backside to be able to do all that cleanup all the way around the base. So really well executed attack, really impressive considering the level of heroes that La Promatica has. So now I just watch that one get cleaned up and let's move on to the next attack. So now we have Mini Jimmy going in against Jon Snow, who knows nothing. And he's going to be going in again with low level heroes, 10, 10 heroes, but going in with an HGHB, taking two hills, two rage and two poison. So starts that out with the giants up front, giving them healers to help them start breaking through the base. No wall breakers, just gonna use the giants to pound their way through. Uses wizards and a baby dragon to help create that funnel. And then gets the archer queen and the barbarian king down from behind. 
holes. The enemy clan castle, really well placed spring traps there to take care of quite a few giants. But here comes the bowlers from behind. That clan castle gets poisoned. Going to be no problem taking it out. And those giants and bowlers are now ripping through to the base making themselves all the way to the core. The enemy Archer Queen is down. He's starting to work on that Tesla farm. Got a rage. And now we're at a third of the base. Starts trickling in the hogs from the north. Just sends in two to take care of that cannon up there in the north. And then starts sending in other hogs down at about four o'clock. As they start working on that compartment with the enemy Barbarian King. Taking out another giant bomb and then trickles in the final amount of hogs at about seven o'clock. They're gonna take out that entire compartment in a hill, taking on a giant bomb and a wizard tower, no problem at all. They're gonna make their way over to the mortar, triggering another giant bomb. He gets another hill on them. And these few hogs are gonna be able to take out that final compartment as the giants are tanking. And no problem, base has been completely wrecked by some really low heroes. So how are you guys feeling about Town Hall 9? You know, HDHB was already a pretty powerful attack and it just looks like it's getting even stronger and stronger with that giant bomb nerf. So go ahead and finish that one out. Three stars for Cobalt Cobras. So let's move on down to everybody's favorite Town Hall level. It's you, who else would it be? Versus Zika or Zyka, hopefully I pronounced it right one of those times, and you, like you always do, are gonna be going in with a Go Boho. That's right, taking the Go Ho, but now adding bowlers into the clan castle, which seems to be really popular, at least considering the amount of donations that I did this, this war. Really popular style of attacking is to add those bowlers in the clan castle for backup. So here they come on in. You get this really beefy kill squad that's gonna do a lot of damage to the base, gonna be able to take out a huge chunk of it plus the town hall and typically it's going to disable uh, you know quite a few of those giant bomb spots and once the kill squad's got its job done taking out the clan castle you can start trickling in these hogs from all around and taking out the perimeter defenses which really helps on these compartment bases where your golems are going to get tripped up you can see the golems are hanging on a wall there right by the town hall just getting pelted by the tesla and the archer tower and descend in these hogs to start taking out these defenses and keeping everything clear nice spring trap there the other hog gets killed by a giant bomb wizard tower so still quite a few defenses that are left and now he sends the main bulk of his army in at nine o'clock of the hog riders main bulk of hog riders i should say he's got one hill spell for those but he's already triggered all three giant bombs so these guys are pretty safe now he's just got to wait until they get down to a little bit lower health and drop that heal spell all those hogs get healed right back up he has plenty of troops plenty of time base has been absolutely destroyed such a powerful attack at town hall 8. so let's go ahead and swing it over to the other side and check out some of these attacks from the onyx orca side so it's payback time for free indeed taking out drizzy drake both of the high town hall nines free indeed is coming at this base with your good old go vaho see that all the time still working great he's going to start the attack by swapping his king for the archer queen and pulling a good portion of the clan castle out uh jersey drake has a lot of smalls it took us a while to fill up that clan castle so he gets quite a few of those out, but he hasn't totally pulled all the client castle, but he wants to start his attack over on the town hall side. And so he pulls the rest of the troops over to that side and uses a poison just on the few minions that are there. Plus then drops another poison. I don't know if that was by mistake or what that was, but he's gonna send in his golems followed by the Valkyrie to start heading into the base and no wall breakers to help out here. Plus the jump is a bit too deep so the valkyrie are gonna have to work on that wall as soon as they make it in they start pulling the rest of the minions out of the clan castle he doesn't have a poison for these so he's gonna have to use his wizard and the archer queen to be able to take those minions out so he goes ahead and gets those hogs in right away start taking out these defenses that are just firing on his kill squad while they're having to deal with the clan castle gets the hogs coming in from all sides including hogs in the clan castle as well no bowlers no extra valkyrie just all hogs and circling them about 
He is out of heal spells now, but he's able to already have 50% of the base down. The overwhelming majority of the defense is not too much left here. The part of the hogs are going to go ahead and trigger a giant bomb. They still live to tell about it. They're at some low health, just has a few defenses left, and no problem here. Even with a couple of mistakes, not a, you know, not an issue. Triggers another giant bomb there at the end. He's got wizards for cleanup, and that wraps this base up. Okay, I'm sorry guys, my voice is totally giving out right now. I can't make it through another attack, but I have some really cool attacks that I'll have to showcase in another video. And so, but I'm gonna leave it there, leave you hanging, know that there's more, there's more to come, and hopefully more attacks from you specifically, because you're gonna come join my Friendly Wars on Sunday night, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Remember to follow me on Twitter, because if anything changes, like the fact that I've already changed the clans that they're gonna be in. Like, really Heather, like you've done this for one week and already, already you're making changes. Yes, I know, it's, I'm a woman. That's, just deal with it, right? So, be sure to follow me on Twitter so you have the most up-to-date information about the Friendly Wars and you're gonna come join and have such a great time and hopefully do some really cool attacks that I can showcase next week. Okay, I gotta say this before my voice just completely goes out. If you like this video, be sure to like it and if you love it, subscribe and be sure to follow me on Twitter so you can come and do these friendly wars with us and have a great time and hang out with other subscribers. And I'll catch you next time.